Alright YouTube, this morning I'm going to show all you pyro enthusiasts how to hardwire a mortar rack. You might want to do this so you can keep your mortar racks quite some distance from your field module. What we're going to do is solder a piece of shooting wire to a speaker terminal. Then I have drilled a hole in the mortar rack to pass the shooting wire through. We will attach the speaker terminal to the mortar rack with wood screws, then pass the wire with a strain relief through the hole in the mortar rack. Here you see I've soldered my shooting wire to my speaker terminal. I tied a small knot in the shooting wire to act as a strain relief when I pass it through the hole in the mortar rack. and I will secure the speaker terminal to the mortar rack with some wood screws. So you can see I screwed my speaker terminal to the mortar rack. I placed a knot on the back side to act as a strain relief so that if someone kicks your shooting wire it won't tear out the solder joint. Now, you place your igniter on your fuse, plug your igniter into your speaker terminals, extend your shooting wire as far as you like, and you've got a hardwired mortar rack. The next thing I will do is solder the other end of my shooting wire to these mini speaker pins so that when I plug into my field module I will have a durable connection that I can reuse over and over rather than bare wire. These are the speaker pins that I used. It is RCA part number AH11R. So here's the finished setup. You've got your igniter attached to your fuse. Your igniter plugged into your speaker terminal. Your shooting wire can be as long as you want. Carry it out to your field module. speaker pins soldered to your shooting wire. There's your speaker pins plugged into your field module. Go out in the field, set up all your mortar racks where you want them, then cut your cables to the right length, solder them up, install them as I've shown you, and you've got a super durable hardwired mortar rack system. Between shoots, take your shooting wire, fold it up, and tuck it in the end mortar.